at it and say, where we stand as a country today, if you're trying to build a business, who are the consumers you're trying to reach, and, who are the, and therefore who are the consumers you have today, who you're trying to engage and get feedback from, and so on and so forth. It's really this, you know, this number captures a significant part of it. You, you know, an industry's consumers, with few exceptions, for your you know, Hindustan lever today, you're clearly having well over 100 million users in your state bank of India you are. But for many, many companies in many, many industries, the 100 million number is a very significant number. The only other fact I leave with you on this 100 million number is, on average, every user is spending 16 hours a week online. The 100 million users are spending 16 hours a week online. And at 16 hours a week, that is more than the average TV viewer in India. Right? TV obviously has much higher reach. The average TV viewer spends about 14 hours a week online. So in terms of not just the size of this medium or the scale, I should say, in terms of users, but also in terms of the time that these users are spending online, we think it's a very large number and it's actually going faster than every other medium in terms of how much time these 100 million users are spending online. The other interesting thing, and this is actually, this uh, number is uh, very relevant to those of us in the internet business, as relevant to others who are not in the internet business. At 100 million users today, India is the third largest internet user market in the world. That's a big deal, right? As many of you know, uh, we've got trillions of dollars of market value that have been created in the last 15 years on the internet, building internet-based businesses. And the fact that India now, from a user standpoint, not from a monetization standpoint, but from a user standpoint, is the third largest internet market in the world, is a very big deal. So the mar markets that are larger than us, really are only two that are left. China with over 600 million internet users, and the US with over 300 million internet users. And our view is that five years from now, you know, we'll be neck and neck, at the, at the latest, we'll be neck and neck with the US in terms of number of internet users. That's the sort of growth that we're actually seeing in India today. 300, no, no, 600 million. No, they don't have billion, no. <laughs> they, have, they don't have that many people, that'd be difficult. The whole world has only 7 billion people today, last time I checked. So now let's move, so you know, that hopefully gives you a sense of where we are with the internet in India today. Now what I want to do is take a few minutes on what consumers are doing online. Clearly they're doing a lot of communication, they're doing a lot of information sharing, they're spending a lot of time in social, and so on and so forth, and we'll talk about that. That's all important to all brands and any business that's got lots of consumers. But actually what's even more important is your customers, especially if you're in a B2C business of any sort, are actually doing research about you. Not you as an individual, but you as a company. And it's a very large number of customers, right? So, so what this really looks at is, of the 100 million users that are online, it's very recent research, what percentage of these consumers, or these consumers really, are doing research online, and what percentage are buying online? And as you can tell, by industry it varies a lot. But what's interesting is, regardless of industry, more than 20% of users are actually doing research just about across every industry. And in some, like travel, technology, and retail, the number is much higher. The other thing that's interesting is, that being the case, a much smaller percentage of consumers are buying online. So because of this, you know, there's a term that we use in the industry called ROPO, research online, purchase offline. So India is still a research online, purchase offline market, and that will change over a period of time. I want to just take two or three categories here to give you a sense of what does this mean if you're selling to consumers in India? Because this means a lot. Right? So I'm going to take three industries, travel. Travel is the most evolved online commerce category, if you will, today, right? This year, I think the total value of all online commerce, excluding the IRCP, you know, the, the Indian Railways, will cross $3 billion. $3 billion worth of travel will get bought, transacted online. Consumers buying air tickets primarily. 80% of that is actually air tickets. So if you look at the 100 billion users online, right? 
Actually, by the way, these numbers are switched. So the, the blue line is what who bought online, and the yellow line is research online. So I think they switched. Um, so the yellow line is 40%. 40% of online users. So think of it simply as 40 million Indians are doing research on travel. You know, which flight should I take? What hotel should I stay in? Where should I vacation? Right? Which hotel? You know, how should I get there? What packages? You know, all those kinds of things. 40 million Indians are doing research on travel online today. And it's also actually a very evolved e-commerce category, especially on the air travel side. 29% of consumers are buying online. Right? That's 20, you know, so that, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Then if you look at actually another category where you're seeing even larger percentage of consumers doing research online, is what we call technology. Technology is basically, think of it as consumer electronics broadly defined. It doesn't include the telecom carriers, similar data for telecom carriers. But what this is, you know, it's basically mobile phones, cameras, laptops, and so on and so forth, right? 72% of consumers, over 70 million consumers in India today are doing research about brands, about products, about SKUs, about other reviews, about technology products. That's a huge number, right? Because if you're a mobile phone brand, or if you're a PC brand, or you're trying to sell cameras, it doesn't really matter. This has huge implications if you're a brand in that kind of business. Now that being said, only 21% actually buy online. Right? So, so this, this is actually a small, you know, a much more, much higher difference between what percentage of consumers are doing research versus what percentage are actually buying online. And there's a whole bunch of reasons by, by industry. And then if you go further down to, let's say, something like automotives, where very few consumers actually buy an automotive online, and I, I would even question the 3%. Are 3% of users really buying? Well, that seems very high because, you know, unlike in the US where that number actually is pretty reasonable. But what's interesting is the 33%. And in fact, we think that number is understated based on the traffic we see on some of the more progressive automotive brands. 33% of this 100 million are researching for automotives online. About brands, about what cars, about comparison, about user reviews. Right? So as you think about this, 100 million people, Indians, really half of urban India, all of SEC A and B, 15 to 34, spending 16 hours a week, doing an extraordinary amount of research about you, about your companies, right? And, 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 and so therefore, as you think about this medium, I mean, the internet has many, many uses for companies, right? But this particular set of, you know, the particular focus of my discussion today is really, how can you use the medium to build awareness, engage your consumers, drive transactions, i.e. sales and then build loyalty over a period of time. This is very, very powerful data about what users in India are doing today. Now what I'm going to do is just take one or two of these verticals and get a little more data so you get a better feel for this. 